Hello, welcome to my channel. Hope y'all having a wonderful swell, swell day. I've been waiting on my cards. They still didn't come. You all just that one stack, just that one. And it's Thursday, so they're supposed to be here today. They, they are. So let's hope that they are. So over the weekend, this is probably when you all see this, probably Saturday, because it takes a long time to upload since my kids are back. It's, everything's taking long to upload, okay? And, uh, so, it'll get back to normal soon. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on in the collective? Oh, collective. With two come back, two. Oh, wishful thinking, wasn't it? Oh, you had a lot of options selling the cups. It says you need to make a choice and stop procrastinating over or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. Too many options, addictions. Ooh, somebody's addicted out here. Somebody's addicted. I know I'm addicted to cigarettes. It probably tells me that, you all. It probably tells me and you all out there, whatever you all still ain't let go of, like, like cigarettes or whatever, drugs, whatever it is. It says the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. So here's Ada Sword. So somebody is pretending to be trapped, I guess. Like, and, and the gate's open. If you look, look, go through the down gate. Take the, take, take the thing off of your face. It's real simple. She's peeking out. Just go ahead and take it all the way out and go through the door. That's all you gotta do. Just go through it. Go through it. Oh, Ada Swords. That's what that was. Let's let's see what else it says. Did this person uh? Are they ever going to get brave? Are they ever going to get brave spirit? I don't know. Oh, what come out? Two of cups. Mm. Uh, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Forgiveness and the ending of challenges. Exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. Ooh, Cupid come and shot somebody in the butt with an arrow. Oh, <laughs> somebody's shooting you in the butt at this little house it says and, and and it's telling you you don't need to give up on somebody that you love now because you're in love with somebody or you've got back uh in a relationship that's what it says or the resurgence of a romantic relationship meaning you you um you might have put a little spice into your marriage if you know you're going through something hard and you're all falling in love again you know or you know, a long time commitment. You just gotta go with it as it is. Maybe you have a, a spiritual partner out here from God waiting to see what it says. Like it feels like the angels might have brought you together. You know what I'm saying? Oh. What is this? Three, three of Pentacles. Do what you love. Recognize. I mean, recognize. Recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and excellent reputation. Maybe, maybe uh, you're, you're someone that works really well, you know, by yourself, you know, when you're uh, working your craft, and um, and uh, it's saying you're you're getting ready to get paid for whatever you do well. So whatever job that you do, you do it really well. You must be an independent business owner and you got an excellent reputation and uh, that's great. It's just saying do what you love to do out here. 411, 411. You might be seeing like 411 a lot, 511 and 911. I used to see that a lot. That's why I said that. And 420, that's a twin flame number. Look it up. Type 420 twin flame number. It's a good one. A oh, wowdy woody three come out. Three come out. Let's see what it said. I had to turn them around, y'all. Oh, it said. It said, uh, great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those in need. So, here we got three of swords in a... It was about healing your heart. See, that one's hard on the outside of her dress, and the angels is holding her hands, and she's looking right at her angel. 
And she's like, I love you, angels, for helping me, and I appreciate you. And it's been a, feeling like a stormy storm cloud around. See, it's raining outside. See the rain out through the windows. It's raining. And, uh, and what that means is you need to cry. You need to cry out your emotions. Uh, when you're sad, just let it out. It'll feel so much better than keeping it pent up. And don't worry about things little challenges you know you the only way you can go through that challenge you you just go you just got to keep going you just got to keep going you all that's all i'm telling you, you just gotta keep going oh and then what we get here queen of swords here you go collective maybe you're a very brilliant experienced humorous judgmental releasing situations or people that no longer serve you seeing the humor in difficult situations focusing on your career divorced or unmarried individuals so this is for you singles out here or divorcees and they said you got your damn sword up you got a beautiful little butterfly I see butterflies all over I see butterfly on her sword at the top of her throne but you're sitting down in your throne and you're like i put my sword up i'll chop you off now i told y'all not to mess around in my darn energy i didn't want you messing around anymore so you just start focusing on your career you know uh, you had to cut people, places, and things off that you didn't need in your life anymore. Whatever that was, you know, a uh, romantic partner, uh, you're, somebody you're married to, uh, a friend, uh, co-workers, boss, mom, dad, etc. Whoever it was y'all had to cut off, you, you did, you know what I mean? And, uh, oh, or somebody might be saying, I... I uh, am doing this practice acting like I'm not even married. Yeah, it could say that too because I'm a queen of swords. That's why I said that. But, you know, that's not it. I'll do whatever I want to do just like you are. Are y'all like that? Oh, yeah. And that's how we are. And, you know, I, I, I sit where I'm supposed to sit down. That's why I sit in my chair right here. Y'all see me sit in my chair? Oh, and uh, then we got your wishes is getting ready to come true. Nine of cups. Ooh. Your dreams become reality. Well, I'm a genie in a bottle. See that bird in that cup? What's all in our cups? We got a certificate or something, a dove, a heart, uh, the medicine symbol. <laughs> Excuse me. Then we got light dove wings again and an eagle and a yin yang symbol and gems and jewels see the yin yang here the yin yang see it and right here's like gems and jewels in that first cup so your wishes is coming true your dreams are coming to, to reality this is a magical time of your life good fortune faith in the universe that all will be well all will be well now all will be well the illusions go away you're coming to your spiritual love. What about that one? What about two of us? Oh, thank you. Spirit, all oh, your spiritual partners said, release, release, release all that needs to be released. And be a magical unicorn. Look, you know, you're a magical unicorn. And look, and look, your angel, see, see your angel right here? He followed you over here. That's the same one. See his dress? See, see his robe? I mean, see, same one. Oh, that's why it come out for you under spiritual love. Now, it said endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. So that's what you did. I guess you released these people. You did because of, see, you were, you needed to release, you know, that could have been a partner, like I said, or you could have released an illusion of somebody that you, it was an unrequited love situation, you understand? And you release that from your brain. Yeah, that's what it is, I believe. Or a, or a real partner takes the way as it is, 922. Oh, and you start doing what you love, and you're going to get recognition for your work because they love you, baby. They love you big. Oh, and somebody does love you, looky there. And that looks like that angel that was in that. That's him. Look, look at you. He's tricked us. Look, see him right here on, on this. It's a night shining on See that? That's the same dude. Look at his face. See his eyes. Look at this eyes. See his eyes. Look at this guy's eyes. See his nose. That's him. That's the same one. So your night is shining or is coming to you by, by romantic, flirtatious, introspective. 
falling in love, being swept off your feet, a sudden love affair, a lack of balance in a relationship, situations or topics that make your heart flutter, a love of art and poetry. Oh, so in your walk off your place and like if you're married like I am and you're not diver and you're not divorced or or you don't have a person like you're single or something, if you're like me and you're married they're uh they uh they think that you're having a love affair. Did you hear that? No, I'm not. I'm not. So whatever. What about you guys? Oh, uh and then up here we had the three of swords, great sadness that will heal with time. You you just let go of past things, you know. While you was hermited. You know, this is about your personal growth that comes with all these challenges. And this was time spent in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. You're shining your light as an example to others. Uh, you you are seeking out or becoming a spiritual mentor. This is about self discovery. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's what it said, so so uh you you had to heal things from the past with this Virgo. That's what it's saying. Did you hear that? Yeah, you did. You had to heal. Oh, level 19. Oh, wow. Well, let's see what this is. It says you're enjoying the fruits of your labors. Hard work that has led to a luxurious life. You're going to be buying yourself something special, babies, out here. And you're going to be happily and successfully self-employed. You're enjoying your solitude. So, see, you learn. I just told you, you healed them old issues with a Virgo. That's why up here it said, uh, where did that house go? Oh, right here. That's why it said, uh, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship. Meaning it coming back together, not split. You stay together, do you understand? Oh, that's what it meant. I hope y'all see. I hope you see. Because you all are seeing that this is what's going to happen for us. Ain't it? Yeah. Oh, you need to go pick your grapes. It's that time of year, y'all. Their dope are ready to be pulled. I need to go up there and get mine, because I know it's now's the time to get them. Uh, this was about you using your logical, perceptive mind and being insightful, you know. You're somebody who's blunt and exciting intellectual challenge. Brilliant insights, info that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. So there's some younger energy around. It could be a son of yours if, if you're older, uh, like I am, like a teenager or something, but, or a 20-year-old or something. But <laughs> it could just, I think it's just saying that you start enjoying the fruit. You're going to be enjoying the fruits of your labors. You, you've done a lot of hard work, and uh, it was an this was an exciting intellectual challenge. You're very blunt. You got a brilliant way of doing things. That's what it's saying. That's what it's saying now. <coughs> That's what it's saying. And outcome, 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 spirit. What is the last card, spirit? Oh, we got... Hang on. We got a oh, we like this. We got a beautiful new emotional experience, a romantic relationship or deep friendship, awakening of your psychic abilities or your spiritual insights, a love letter, a new home. Oh, somebody's getting a love letter out here. Oh, and maybe you've been swimming with the dolphins. Look at that pretty little girl. Maybe they it, this is a this is Ace of Cups. Uh so uh you're getting ready to somebody's gonna give you some emotions. Somebody loves you out here big. It could be a friend of yours, but there's too much going on. There was too much going on and stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events, or rapid changes. The ability to multitask. You you might be getting ready to travel for business. And uh, here we got a page fire sign. It's just someone that's younger than you. I mean, it doesn't have to be a child. It's just younger than you. You can read it like that also. Uh, you're very enthusiastic and optimistic and creative, and you might be impatient to also. Yeah, everybody feels like that sometimes. I guess we get impatient. And we need to calm down, slow down, you know. And you're gonna get some news of exciting new opportunity. I told you, I told you. Allow your creativity to soar. Do things that fuel your passions. Finish what you start. Stay on. Stay focused. Cause they might be some uh, girl be trying to send a lot of messages 
And if you got a son and they're going through something, she might want to send a lot of messages uh, and, and try to fuck with your creativity. But don't let it. Don't let it. Spirit said, don't let it. I won't let it. I won't let it. Don't you worry now. I got to finish my business. 1515, 66, because that's how I feel harmony and harmoniously. Oh, uh, and I feel like giving to humanity, you know. That's what six Virgo and a chorus is do, didn't you know that? That's why we're twin flames. People don't get it. People don't get it, but you all get it, my collective. You know, don't you? You guys get it. You guys get it now, Pickles. Come on. Oh, what else? What else? This is what I'm focused on at the moment is get my business started. And I am a queen of swords, you know what? And yeah, I was up my head before over somebody. Yeah, I was. That ain't a lie, you guys. It's real true. It's real true. And I shouldn't have been that way. But, you know, we all go through changes in our life sometimes. We'll all do things like that. Yeah, we will. There will always be challenges. You're a chosen one. If you're a chosen one, you'll always have them. So it'll, all, it'll always be something. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll always be something. Oh, let's see here. We have some blue cards. Shoot out the blue ones, Spirit. Shoot out the blue ones, Spirit. Shoot out the blue ones. Oh. Now, Hathor said, Honor the deities around you. I thank you, deities. I love you. I appreciate everything you do for me, deities. And, and you need to say a lot of prayers, you all, and give Spirit some offerings on your spiritual table. Put it something down there today. Put it something to eat or put it some flowers or something. They like it. They like it. And put some money in your little money bag. See, I got some money in my little money bag. Don't you worry, you guys. You're going to receive some help, he said. You're going to receive some help. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, and oh, God, you know, this... Here it goes again. The, they helped me with this light uh, to to be a, 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 I don't know. It was crazy. When that light struck my house, it was like they was doing it for a reason now. Help. Help. Pray for this power seeker. That's what it said. Pray for this power seeker. Did you hear that? That's what it said now. Pay attention. I pray, Spirit, that you will help me. To become better and wiser and stronger, I I pray and I I I pray that you all help these people out here at needs that help spirit. Please help them. Please help them uh, to feel better. Please spirit. Oh wow! The spirit said you're going to get now seeker. You're going to get some good luck. Black cat's coming, and we're going to say you better get out of here now, you old cat. And be by yourself for a little while. That's what's said now. I don't know, but that's what's coming in my head. So, you're going to get good luck. Uh, and you got to do this ship like with precision. Okay? This is about one, one, two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 nine, nine, nine. Maybe you got a plan and you're not telling nobody. That's what it is. That's good. Don't, 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 don't tell people things. Because when you do, you, you know, we you know how people does, you guys. Don't you all know how it is? Oh, look here. Oh, we might have a key of cups. That just was laying on where I don't know where it come from. But you're very trustworthy and honorable and devoted and cautious. Uh, someone you can completely trust. A situation that is safe. A solid relationship. Hidden but well-intentioned emotions. See, somebody's hiding their emotions for you. They love you big. That's why, that's why it was laying there. It was just left there. Okay. Okay, okay, what else? Ooh, palmistry. What would this instead? So now it's saying, Help me, deities. I'm offering up my spirit to be a guide for others. I pray that you'll give me the power to seek out the things I need to seek out for in my life. And I and, you know, and it's saying, you know, I, I pray you help me with some good luck. And do this with precision. Interpretate with precision. Some spirits said you're interpretating with precision. They love you because you've been praying. That's what they said. That's what it said. So keep you prayed up. Keep prayed up. <coughs> I love you, Spirit. Let me get one of my messages, you all. Know.
about get, I won't have to go through my cards, see how many I got left. We done went through that whole big stack, these Well, whatever it was look <laughs> Banana Gang Gang. Whatever Banana Gang Gang gonna come out. <laughs> so this will be different messages, okay? I'm gonna finish the next reading I do a few, a few cards and then I gotta like, shuffle them and go through them real good. Take a little from I know how to do it, don't worry though. Um, it said somebody might have watched their spouse die and they didn't even help him or her when they was gasping for our dying of a heart attack. That's pitiful, ain't it? It's pitiful. Spirit, if you know people that's did something like that, you want to haunt them now. Give them some power of lightning. Oh, you better watch you guys. If y'all did something like that, that's crazy. It, and remember that all of us humans on earth has done dirty stuff to one another. But the thing is to admit your wrongs and live a good right life, then you will soar to new heights. Yeah, that's what I'm teaching us. That's what we gotta do. So maybe this person that might have, they might have said like, you know, when they, when they was passed away with a heart attack, they might have said to somebody something that was strange. 2121. 33 manifest. Did you hear that? They might have said something like, yeah, I thought they was breathing funny. Well, if I would have thought somebody was breathing funny, you know what I would have done? I would have paid attention to them. Or maybe try to make them go to the hospital. Wouldn't you all? I don't know, but sometimes people say that. It ain't me. That's all I know. It ain't me. It ain't me. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh, uh, what gives right? The people who think they can just take and take from you. And then, and then they don't act like they didn't do or take nothing from you. Did you hear that? So, let me get some, let me get out what it's trying to say. Oh, and it, and it said this person is in love with you now. They're wishing that you'll give them a chance to show you and prove that they are the person of your dreams. Oh, and it said there's a correctional officer out here that, uh, Messes around with women in jails when when they challenge his authority, he might R word them. Are you listening? Spirit told me to write it one day, so I wrote it. Oh, and destiny is is your future or the path of your life. Knowing your life path number helps you understand what job or career path you will have in life. Life path numbers. Okay, and to figure out your life path number, you gotta have your birth date, and you gotta be like Z if it's like the February the 5th, 69, you'd have to put like 02 plus 05 plus and then plus 6 plus 2, and that would be 8. So it'd be like 258, and then you add that together. So 258, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that'd be 15, so that would be 6, because you'd have to, it's. Our life pay number is only one number. Are you listening? Um, well, no, I think you can have master numbers. I take that back. You can be 11 and 22 or 33s also. Are you hearing me? And I think that's all. Uh, I'm a number nine. It says a squire is the most challenging of major aspects. It talks of conflict, stress, disruption, uh, and being angry, like getting mad all the time. And it's people around you may be affected and your goals are more challenging to reach. This would be like conflict, limit, street, disrupt, challenges, hindrance. So if you see a 90 degree in your bar chart when it's a perfect 90, that's called a square and that's where you'll have a lot of damn bullshit take place. So I'm sure we've all got that before, you know. Maybe it's tell me life pay number nine, look at where there's a hindrance for something. Just telling somebody out here, okay? All you need to let go of the old you and embrace the new you shining through. Be that beautiful, beautiful peacock, ain't it pretty? I didn't know how to draw one so well, but I tried, you guys, okay? <laughs> okay, what else? I know it looks goofy, but it's cool. It's cool laying at a distance. Here, let's see how pretty it looks. See, it looks pretty cool right there. Okay. My nose is itchy. What's one more after peacock? You got judged harshly for things that people didn't didn't understand about you or your side of the story. You got 
but it's okay. It's okay. We all get judged now, don't we, in life? You just gotta remember to get over it. That's the thing. I ain't used to hang on to that old shit. I ain't. I forgive everybody. I still love everybody. You know what? Let's say God be you all. Let's say God be. What under this person that might have watched her spouse die? What about it? What's under that? They want to live in front of heart space. It says, quit living in your thoughts and learn to live from your heart space. So, see? They want living in their heart space. Like, that's crazy that it come out of that person was dying of a heart attack and they didn't even get no help. They want, they want in love with them. That's why it come out. Okay? Whoever that person is, they want in love with them. Nope. Nope. Plain to see. Spirit tells you, don't it? What about, remember all the dirty things that you do to each other? They ain't no use to keep living any thoughts about it. There ain't nothing you can do about it except pray to God. That's what, uh, pray to the deities around you to to help you to stop thinking about it. 2555, change and listen. What I'm telling you right now, you better do that. Whoever's listening to me. Or you're getting ready to get karma. See the karma? You're a person that is sent to make others see that their wrong deeds will only get no karma in the end. See? Trying to tell us. I try to tell us I do good. I sit home, I'm my business. You now, if somebody messes me, I might mess them, but that's that's all I do. You know what I mean? And that's my family. Oh, and he's a devil worshippers trying to get you to fall in love with him. He thinks he can take your money from you. See the money signs? No, you can't. I'm not falling for a devil worse. Were you not taking my fucking money? No. You're stupid as hell if you think that. No, I'm not dumb. I'll ask my pendulum if you're devil worse, bro. I won't. I, so I, it doesn't matter, you know what? Oh, and I got some ice. Yeah, people's crazy, you know what? Oh, well, you have to figure out on your own what is real and what ain't real. Then, of course, you could act a little wishy-washy up and down and out of sorts. This may be a karmic lesson that you learn. <laughs> so maybe... Uh, this person it says I love you to the moon and back. Uh, it, this it might have been a current lesson that you learned. Not might have been. It is, and uh, it could be if your all's old man is a correctional officer and they raping women in jail. I mean, our words. Sorry, sorry, you guys. I didn't mean to say it. I didn't mean to say it, you guys. I guess you ain't supposed to say some things. I just now learned it. I ain't supposed to say some things. Twenty seven, twenty seven. I'm sorry, you guys. I gotta be good now. I gotta be good. Listen. I ain't gonna say you better be good. Quit cussing now. Quit saying stuff. Oh, somebody wants to end you. They want to kill you, but they can't have your soul because you're highly protected from God and angels. They can't. They can't get us. They can't get us. But, oh, and it's saying you're protected from this correctional officer. Whoever's listening, I mean, you're you're protected. The angels won't let it happen to you if you're in jail. Cause yeah, you could be. Some of us get caught up in situations that wouldn't even meant to happen for us. You know what? Yeah. I know. I've been in a few of you all. I'm sorry about that. I never did go to jail or nothing, though. Oh, and it, said you're, you're, uh, it says uh, your guides communicate to you daily and send messages that show you what you need to focus on in your life. Yes, that's what they do. That's what mine does. That's why it landed on our mind. Oh, crazy. And for you guys, it says this person has walked off from talking to you because Spirit showed you they is against you. And they didn't want you to have your own business. And now God is gifting it to you because you're in your calling. So you're getting it anyways. But you need to look for it 90 degrees square is that because that might be hindering you to get this all the way. Do you understand? And peacock, let go to the old and, and uh, embrace the new because somebody needs to let go of the old because they're got a STD because uh, I guess they caught on something on them nuts right there. These nuts got these nuts, so it's like hairy coconuts with, <laughs> with red on it. I don't know. Ooh, what is that? Pus and green. Yeah, that's what it is. Pussy green. Somebody wants to put pussy green on you, a devil worshiper. No. You can't do that to these people out here. Y'all crazy. You can't do that. You can't do it. Oh, what's it say? He's being judged. And because, you know, drama is all these comics, comics is known for. Whoever blabbed about you, that's all they're about is drama. That's why. And this man that wants to give you STD. Uh... And remember, you all, if you're with people that never does see your point of view, how are you ever going to make your side of the story be heard? You can't, because they don't listen, do you understand? They can't place themselves in your shoes, you know, or in others. 
because they don't care one way or the other. This person doesn't. These people doesn't. And is there anything else that we need to know? You need to follow the numbers. The numbers might be leading you to read palms for people. They might want you to read palms for people. Also, I just saw that. Uh, this person ain't happy until they go and screw with your screw your partner, but you feel their energy and know exactly who sends negative energy to you. <laughs> Somebody wants to screw your partner. They ain't happy until they get to bang on now. Do you hear that? You ain't banging me with these nuts, devil worshiper. You're going to jail and hell. Don't worry. Oh, yeah, because you're a damn dark demon. It says... This man is a dark demon, and you know that it's lashed on to you from him, so I suggest you run. Oh, it's saying you better run, or that demon's going to latch on you now. Peacock, you better fly, peacock, fly, peacock, fly, peacock, star, fly, peacock, star. I was going to say that early for a chorus, but I didn't. <laughs> but whoever else out here is a star. It says you shine, you're, you're seen as a person that shines greater than the rest. And that's why the demon wants to attach to you, Star, for your money. It done told you. Oh, and it says, you return this to sender. Oh, return to sender. We'll throw that energy back. We didn't, we're not, it's not latching on to us, any of it. They're, they're trying to send dark energy, but it's returned. 3131, it's returned back to them. It, it doesn't matter. The spirit does it for you. Thank you. Thank you, spirit team. I love you. I appreciate you, deities. Thank you for taking it back to these people. And we know how to cleanse ourselves, yeah. And, and most people on earth don't know how to heal issues that are on the inside of ourselves. None of us do. You know that, right? So I'm just trying to teach us a little way to do it. Don't let things get keep getting to you. Oh, and here's what I am. Psychic people can pick up on your energy and sense your true intentions too. Good, because I got good intentions. It's to help everybody. See, see, look at my cool pea card. You see it, you guys? You got it too out there. Somebody, it's cute and it all. And a friend of yours wants to tell you that they love and appreciate you for helping them come out of darkness. Oh, I guess you've psychically sensed it. Look, you're like looking over. Like, I see you, friend. I know I helped you. That's what you're saying. See, you're looking sideways. Like, I see you. <laughs> oh, and uh, they're wanting to call you. See, call. But on this card, it says these people hate you now because you stood in your truths and let out all their damn business. But that could be another friend of yours not the friend that want that loves you you know they're wanting to call you this friend's going to call you you're psychically understanding it's just a matter of time Ooh, they've been listening to you they know the time to do it now you probably give them a hint about it already if you got a channel like me you probably already give them a hint oh what else what else because it said now somebody out here wanted it now you don't hold me for you i don't know who it is Oh, you've been going through a transformation at the moment because this was a battle of head versus heart. You're going to open your heart to each other. 3333 manifesting it for you guys. I manifested it just now. See, I'm psychic. Please let these people get the one they love out there. Spirit said it's coming to you. Look sideways. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, pig hair girl. You got it. Don't you worry. All right, I gotta get off here. Oh, look, you're rising up. Oh, and if you want that person, all you gotta do is keep thinking about it, keep thinking about it, and you'll get them. Yeah, you will. But you're you're uh, but when you're ascending, you gotta keep pure thoughts. Keep pure thoughts. What and what you're purely wanting into your life. You understand that, right? Oh, and you you gotta clear up all that old bullshit that's on the inside of your brain. Clean up that old crap. Don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. All right, you guys. I'm going to get off here because it's already about 34, 24 pieces. I hope it's helped you guys. Later.